What we're gonna talk about is dribble pickups, right? Or even just pickups if I'm in a post position, right? Trying to get the ball over length. Now, the, one of the biggest things that gets lost in pickups, right, is the different types of pickups. Right, so a lot of times when we talk about pickups or pull-ups, right, you just see players just pull the ball straight up, right, and you're gonna get stripped. We wanna work on picking the ball up away from hands. So I'm gonna show you guys some drills that can work on that. So what I mean by that, and you, you see some of the best players in the world do it, right, we do it with, with players that we've worked with, uh, Julius Randle, uh, Victor Wimbanyama, a bunch of different players that need these types of skills, right, to protect the ball. And what we mean by that is, right, and, and I talked about Chris Paul earlier, is a lot of times when he comes off these ball screens and maybe he's snaking the ball across, he picks the ball up, one, the angle of the feet, right? So the earlier stop is gonna get him in the air quicker, which now creates more space away from that defender and he's able to now elevate over the top. But one thing he does really well is he keeps the ball on that hip and then he's able to pull it while rotating that hip and then getting the ball to the shot pocket. So if I was shooting, right, a mid-range and I'm squared, if this is my shot pocket, how can I get the ball to that shot pocket without getting stripped? Because if I was driving here and I was to pull the ball here up and that defender's stripping, they're gonna get to that ball. So I wanna be able to lift the ball over the top of that defender and now I get it to that point where now we call it a push point, I push through my elbow, extending it over the top of that defender. So right now I'm gonna show you guys a couple drills and then a couple situations, right, that we can use those pickups. First thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna put my left hip at the rim, okay? So what I wanna do now, left hip at the rim, right, shoulders are here, ball is gonna be on this side. I wanna ex over exaggerate where that basketball is. Okay, so right now, don't put the ball in, right? We wanna put the ball out. I wanna jump. As I jump, the ball's gonna start to lift. Now in a game, right, I may be angled here, right? But we wanna make it in our training more difficult so you are really getting that feeling of turning the hip through, pulling the ball over the top and getting it to that shot pocket. So I'm gonna jump. As I jump, I pull the ball up. I'm gonna rotate hips and try to start to get squared to that rim. All right, that's one. Again, protect the ball, right? A good thing to do is maybe set your camera up so that you see yourself doing this. So if I'm here, right, it's watching film. So if you're playing games, watching film, watching what you're doing will make you better. So maybe set your camera up and see if you're actually pulling the ball over the top instead of bringing it in. All right? And when you're rotating, Again, it's a little bit tougher shot. Really drive those hips right through that ball. First phase of, of doing this drill. So really simple, right? You can move out as far as you want, right? You can start as close as you want to the rim to just get the feeling right of the drill. Now, this is gonna be a little bit tougher. I'm gonna start with my shoulders and my feet to the rim along with my hips. I'm now gonna rotate quickly into that same position that we started with, right? I wanna get the ball to that pocket. So again, try to get that ball over exaggerated on the right side of your leg to where now you're driving up. This is gonna force you and test your hip. So now the first time we started, I was already in this loaded position, right? Where I was able to just turn right away. Now I gotta be able to rotate my hip back and then immediately land and rotate my hip back through that basketball trying to square. So it's gonna challenge your balance. It's also gonna challenge the ability to rotate your hips within this movement and try to drive that ball right through the rim. But you heard that. That's a swish. Ooh. 
Again, rotating our hips through, right? Try to over-exaggerate that rip. Over, right? Rotate that hip through. Try to get that elbow, right, and your hip aligned at that last moment. Right, so that time, I didn't really rotate like I should have, so I was forced to try to swing the ball through instead of letting the ball, my hip, and shoulders rotate through together. So when you're doing this, and, and this is kind of where details come involved as far as your skills training goes, is you got to be able to, if you're working by yourself, understand what you're doing wrong and then correct it, right? So understanding what you're doing with a shot, right? Ball handling, footwork, understand the minute details and what you're trying to learn, try to correct it as you go, all right? That's just a great way to one, try to learn the game, right? And get better by yourself, but also it's gonna make you a better player as you go. Okay, now same drill, like same rotation. Now I'm gonna move the ball, okay? So a lot of you are gonna say, why are you wrapping the ball around your waist? I wanna get the ball movement, right? So maybe the ball's being pushed across my body in this movement on a snake, and I gotta be able to lift the ball up from here, right, and up. It could be like an ISO. Bang, I push the ball, and I'm over the top, right? It could be a hard drive, right, where now the ball's in a movement position, right, to where I gotta be able to pick it up and come over the top. And what we wanna do to almost over-exaggerate that is make it harder. So I'm gonna wrap the ball. As I wrap the ball and the ball transfers from my left across, I'm gonna rotate, have to stop the ball, and then lift it and come back over the top, right, with this movement. So again, it's a ball wrap, right? So I'm gonna wrap, I rotate the balls in a movement position, so I have to get it locked. I have to get my wrist loaded. I have to stop it at the correct point and then be able to lift it through that path, get it to the push point, and then rotate my hips through that basketball. Right, really rotate that body, right? Over exaggerate that quickness of that basketball, right? If you need to be slow, First couple reps trying to get your feet down, do that. But make sure once you get it that you're trying to create that power by hitting the ground. Don't make this movement slow and don't make this movement slow. Right? That's just gonna hurt you and make the drill harder right, than it has to be. So when you wrap it, really wrap it, land, create power from the ground, and then drive up. Uh, right, that's just a miss. Keep that ball on your hips. Get that wrist to that loaded position. <laughs> Another miss. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna get more game situational with it. So what I want you guys to do right now is uh, you can go two different ways. I can go more open drop, so shoulders at the rim right, to where I bounce, right, and I rotate my hips, getting myself into space, aligning back foot with my direction as I go again, picking that ball up, right, on that right side, being able to lift it, right, with that correct shot path. The other way you can do it, which will be a little bit easier, shoulders already to that position, you drop, left foot, right foot, now you pull it over the top. You're gonna angle your foot a little bit further than what we were doing, right, when we were just kind of working on getting that hip rotated through. I'm usually, most of the time, never gonna stop here and then try to go, right? We're trying to over-exaggerate. A lot of times, I'm gonna be more in this position to where now I pull and I try to square in the air. Okay, now one of the most important things in the mid-range, in these drills, and, and Chris Paul's great at it, right? Even seven-footers like KD, right? The Kobe's, the Jordans, right? Even a lot of the elite players that we have uh, in high school, Liam McNeely, Trey Johnson, guys like that. It's the ability to rise up in the mid-range, right? So the ability to have the correct timing. What we teach is think about jumping on a box. 
So if I was doing plyometrics, I wouldn't lift my hands up before that foot hit because now I'm not going to be able to jump as high as I can onto the box. What I want to do is load everything together to now explode as high as I can onto the box. So that's what we kind of want our players to visualize as they're getting into this is everything is together. Now they're able to elevate over the top. The other thing is, is the slight leg kick, right? Now, a couple things, they changed the rules a little bit. So now if I leg kick, I don't want to extend it all the way to where now I'm kicking that defender trying to close out. You want to have that subtle leg kick, trying to keep that foot more locked in now, but still able to get that hip rotation through. God, I'm elevating like I'm him. I don't miss two in a row. <laughs> 